Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Ciroc 7. There's been a lot of outweighs going on regarding that video with uh, Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion, the WAP videos. I'm going to adjust that today. Uh, first off, the outrage is, is uh, understood. Understood. But there's a reason behind why these things go on. There's a reason behind why our women are used and are exploited the way they are or allow themselves to be exploited the way they are in these videos. Give me Ciroc 7, uh, which I asked our daughters. 23? Ciroc 7? 24. Do that. Ciroc, chapter 7 and verse 24. See, most of the time, most, in most black and brown households, there's no father present. There's no father present. That's why I attack Black Lives Matter with a passion, because Black Lives Matter, they are, they are completely opposed to black fathers. They are, they are, they are um, an advocates of homosexuals. They are advocates of mother, single motherhood and single mothers raising in abortions. Black, Black Lives Matter is, is in, ad, is in um, advocates of fatherless black household. They are completely for that. They support it, undeniably so. You go to blacklivesmatter.com, go to what we believe, they completely hate black men with a passion. Right. All three lesbian leaders hate black men even though they were raised in both parents' households. So now read Sirach 7, please. Sirach chapter 7 and verse 24. Hast thou daughters? So the question's asked. I, I say yes, I do. Hast thou daughters? Go ahead. Have a care of their body. See, one of the most important things a black man must understand is he must have a care for his daughter's body. You must be on her phone. You must be in her room. You must know where her friends are. You must know where she's going at all times. Your, your daughter, the first love of a woman is her father. That's natural, that's, that's the normal way of things. The first male role model a woman should have is her father. But because they grow up without a father, they, the streets raise them. These female celebrities become their mother figures, become their sisters. And so they grow up with the mindset of being just half naked is okay. Because the media pushes that's okay. The white woman pushes that's okay. Now you may say, well, that's prejudice, that's racist. It's true. The modern fashions of today, of the world, in terms of mini skirts or spandex being worn outside of a dress was spurred on by middle class and upper class white women in which black women model themselves after based upon what they see on television because black and brown people don't have opinions. Black and brown people, your opinion is television. You don't have a mind of your own. Bring it out. If there were no television, black and brown people would be, would be the most quiet nation on the earth. Right. Y'all don't have an opinion. Your opinion is television. Right. So read that, please. Hast thou daughters? So God is asking the question. The prophets are asking the question. Hast thou daughters? Go ahead. Have a care of their body. The Bible says to have a care for your daughter's bodies. What they wear when they go out the house what they wear when they come in the house, where they go, where they're at, who their friends are. These are things you should have knowledge of. Many of us allow our children to go to school. They spend eight hours in school. Then they spend two hours in after school. They spend two more hours in after after school. They spend two more hours at a friend's house after that. Pretty much a lot of parents, especially in black and brown households, have no idea where their child is at throughout the entire day while they're at work. Read on. 
and show not thyself cheerful toward them. And many of us black and brown folks, we tend to play around with our daughters. We treat our daughters like they are our friends. And so your daughter grows up with the belief that she's your peer, that she's your equal. And they, and they grow disrespectful after a while. Go ahead, read on. Marry thy daughter. The Bible tells the black man in this instance, the fathers who at this time were present, he says, your job, father, black man, brown man, is to marry your daughters off. In the Bible, there is no dating. There is no promiscuity in the Bible. Bring it out. There's no baby mamas in the Bible. Right. There's no boyfriends and girlfriends in the Bible. Right. That's unheard of. That's a new thing in the earth. Boyfriends and girlfriends is a Caucasian thing. A mistress, a jump off, that's a, that is a reinforced habit. Whoredom has always been among our people. But when we got brought over here in slave ships, it was reinforced. The evil habits we had amongst ourselves as a race has been reinforced in our psyche as a people based upon slavery. So a lot of the habits that we had that we knew were bad back then is the norm today. We don't marry thy daughter. And so shalt thou have performed a weighty matter. Because marrying your daughter off is a very weighty matter because, because remember, when a woman marries a man, she's supposed to marry a man that reminds her of her father. But when you grow up in a fatherless household, you, you marry a man based upon what? Based upon television. Based upon, tele based upon TV. That's where your selection of men come from. You hear women say all the time, black men are no good. No, black men are no good, but your decisions aren't any better. Right. Your decisions aren't any better. Because a lot of you sisters say black men ain't no good, and you'll have kids and baby fathers. Because all the men you marry, all the men you had are the same. No. Same kind of man. No. Read on. But give her to a man of understanding. The Bible says the father's job is to give his daughter to a man of understanding. That's your job as a father, to give your daughter to a man of understanding. But many of you give your, your daughter to television. Right. You give your daughter to celebrities like Cardi B and Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion and Doja Cat. These women are not role models. These women are celebrities who are raised in a slave mentality. Now, the problem is that as a people, we have, we're, we're offered very, very few options. Like Cardi B is very intelligent. She's not very articulate, but she's pretty intelligent. But she didn't, but she didn't, but she felt the only option she had in her instant, in her time was to strip, to be a stripper in the Bronx, I believe. And so she lived off of that. That's the money came in. She was in school, but she was told to strip. Now, once again, our people being destroyed, being destroyed, we go up, we go up with we go up with the mentality of having limited options. So we go up believing that stripping is okay. It's not okay. And the reason why many of our women out here walk around half naked is because lack of father figures. Lack of a male figure. Bring it out. It's not a male figure, it's not present in the home. Surah, chapter 42 and verse 9. The father waketh for the daughter. The Bible says the father's job is to, wake up, is to watch the daughter. Go ahead, when he wakes up, go ahead. When no man knoweth. When no man knows he is in his daughter's business at all times. That's what a real father is. Like, for example, I got mad at T.I. because T.I. took his daughter to the doctor to get, her, to get tested for her virginity test. And the media attacked this man relentlessly. Now, T.I. is known to be a philanderer or a, a in much debauchery, hold, hold him. So they, they felt like because he, of his, his own background, he's not in a position to check his daughter. Yes, he is, because that's his daughter. He's a father. He has every right to check his daughter's virginity. That's his daughter. That's his job. But the white woman in the media convinced black folks to attack him because he was interested in his daughter maintaining her virginity that he himself should have kept for himself. You understand? So he received backlash for that. But he wasn't wrong. Read on. The father waketh for the daughter when no man knoweth. The father waits for the daughter 
when no man knows. Go ahead. And the care for her taketh away sleep. The care for a daughter takes away sleep. Why? Because daughters can get pregnant. That's why a care for them is more severe. A care for them is more tedious because they can get pregnant. See, a man can go and lay around with a bunch of women and he, he can't get pregnant. He can make babies, he can't carry them. So it's a lot more of a harder task as a father to raise a daughter because they can get pregnant. That's more difficult. Read on. The care for her taketh away sleep. The when, care for a daughter takes away sleep. Go ahead. When she is young, lest she pass away the flower of her age. So a father's job is to watch after his daughter unless she does what? Unless she pass away the flower of her age. She loses her virginity too young. Read on. And being married. And if she gets married, go ahead. Lest she should be hated. Her husband hates her because she's not raised properly. Many women out here have had numerous husbands or numerous baby fathers because they got a big black mouth that niggas can't stand. And that goes back to being raised in a household with a mother with the same mouth. That's where that comes from. A fatherless household. That's where the mouth comes from. The disrespect comes from. The ratchetness comes from. A fatherless household or a weak father household. Right. One or the other. Read on. In her virginity, lest she should be defiled and gotten with child in her father's house. Right, so it is a shame for a woman to be in her father's home with a child. When a woman is, if you're old enough to get pregnant, you should be married by this point. Right. You should be. Now, is that the norm? No. Not the norm. Should it be? No. But it's, it's, it's supposed to be where the woman has a child, she should be with her husband in their own place. Not a baby mama in her grandma house or mother's house. Now many of you will say, well, nigga, you judging. You being judgmental. Because black folks hate to hear about themselves. Right. They despise that thing with a passion. You know. White folks will talk about you all day and y'all okay with that. Right. But when your own mentions your evil, you get mad and go, only God can judge. Right. Well, if only God can judge, when a man don't take care of his kids, and you want and you want child support, where do you take them to? Do you take them to God, or do you take them to a judge? Bring it out. You hear that nonsense, you Negro stick out here? We used to scream "Black Power" while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.